That would be, in, in, in a perfect world, what you would do, from now on, being good teachers that you are, <laughs> every time you go out, you will be looking for different sizes of pebble, different shapes of pebble, and you will be collecting them. So the next time that you do this, you will be able to put all those marvellous pebbles that you've collected on here, so you can have that variety. Okay? But I mean, that's serious. Oh yes, exactly, yes, exactly that. Can I present you with this very important <laughs> piece of equipment? <laughs> yeah, yes, you have to, so, sorry, bending your back again. Uh, it's better if you're this side round, and therefore better if it's like that, and you hold it away from you, and you're going to have to put it just below the surface. Are you ready with your cameras? Go, go. Can you just, just put this out again? They're very rude to you, aren't they? Go out there. Go, go for it. There I go. Anyone? I think what I think what it's showing is that even even in this flow, the very fine sediments are really you get an initial push as you get the water coming against the against the, the sediment. But the reality is they're not moving very far at all. So you've got very little suspended sediment except where we kick it up. And, and these, I think, really are just pushed because of the initial flow of water. If we were going round the corner, yeah. if we could go, then in the shallower water, where you've obviously got one of these little riffles, there it would pick it up. But here it would be. But it's just a simple technique to try and identify what's the largest pebble that can move at this time. When you see larger pebbles in your stream, then hopefully you've got the making the connection is that they're not moving now. So when do they move? Yeah. It tends to be as the stream is moving towards thankful discharge. And with that, that concept of efficiency is one of the things I would hope we would get out of a day like today. When is the stream efficient? In the, in the largest amount of water passing through it. And that will obviously be both the speed will affect that, uh, the cross section, the shape of the channel, and also the friction that goes on. Can I thank my able group here? And of course, the excellent recorder, <laughs> uh, who's still dry. <laughs> now then, what we'll try and do now is to.